So now we have make use of the context start select, we just select a single value from the, the change notifier and listen to it. And whenever it changes, it will uh, build, uh, rebuild our widget. As well as we have learned about the context.watch, which will watch the whole of our notifier. And whenever the things changes over here, then uh, we are going to rebuild our widget tree over here. So uh, the next thing that we are going to do over here is we'll go to the add employee. And currently you can see whenever we are inserting the employee, we are calling the provider.off and providing the type over here, passing the context and the listener to the false. So this is the one way of doing it. But if we can make use of context over here, you can see context dot I can make use of the read and the i can pass the type as the employee notifier employee change notifier and i can just call dot and create the employee and pass the entity so this is the same that we are actually doing over here but using the context over here so if i go over here to the read and go to the definition you can see that it is using the same concept over here provider.off and providing the type context and the listener to the false which we have used over here so this is the one that so whenever we call context that read internally it's going to call the same thing over here so uh, that's the thing that we have and the context that we as you already know it's coming from the root of our application where we have provided this particular change notifier over here and let's go back and the next thing is that we need to get actually the all of this right so we need to call this particular uh, scaffolding messenger dot off and provide whenever the, we call this one we need to listen right so how do we listen each we have our let's go if you go over here we have each added right so we need to listen to this one so how do we listen that one so if i go back over here and we are listening to over here so what we will do is we have to create one function over here let's call it as a void and call it as a, a listen not this listen uh, let's see listen to add employee or you can just call something general like a provider listener and then you can just go inside and call this one right so material banner i think till here i think is it till here uh, let's copy till here so let's copy it and uh, paste it inside okay so i think i don't need it i need the semicolon over here and i can just um shift it properly and give a proper indentation over here and i think that should be fine right so we have this one and now i think i can just comment out this one since we are not going to use it so i think i'm not going to use it and up to here i think somewhere here right so is it till here okay so i just think i don't want to delete it right i think i i don't want to delete it i just want to comment it okay so that should be fine and uh, now if i go and run my application uh i have some error where is that error coming from this value right so i think i'll just remove it for now and let's give a const over here and just remove the const from here so i will run my application run without debugging and once it is running let me go to the edit employee so we have uh, something same over here a future we have the provider app delete the app and uh, 
then we also have a edit employee so we have to do the same thing over here so cntxc context.read right so context.read and, and then we will go and call the um i need to pass the type over here so just pass the type over here and we need to pass the employee the change notifier and dot the i will call the now what is the function that we need to call it's a delete right so delete employee and pass in the id which is of the we get the dot the id over here so that should be fine and then similarly we will add a function over here to let's say uh void uh listen right we will just call it as a provider or change notifier or something you can just call it over here and then i think i will just move this section uh I'll just move this one and paste it over here and i think i need to provide a semicolon and i think i need to provide some more bracket over here okay so i think that should be the one that we are looking and i don't need a value for currently over here and let us set a const keyword over here and that should fix it so we have this and now i can actually go and mark it as a comment for this one that should be fine so next thing is that we have to do the same thing over here where is that one the update employee right so i will go over here and i will just call uh, we need to call uh, the context right so context dot uh, i need to read it and uh, then i need to provide the type over here which is the type of the what i need is a type of the employee change notifier and here i can just call it as a update right and pass in the entity so this is the same thing as this one that we are calling over here and then i can just have another function so i think this will be listen to listen delete i think i'll just call this as a listen delete and i'll call another function over here for listen to update right and that's it so we'll just go and call this particular this one so just copy this one and let's go down and paste it below over here it where did i paste it so it should be inside over here and i think that should be the one okay so i just have to remove this one too and comes from here and i need to add it the const on the beginning so we have listen update and the listen delete and also i can now go and comment out this one because we are not going to use that one anymore and uh, now i think uh, you have done it everything so uh, if i go up i think it uh, everything should be fine so it has a delete employee isn't defined so delete employee i think we already have a delete employee this is the delete employee this is the one right so did we change anything on press is we are going to call the D E L E T E delete why i cannot find that particular function which is to okay so i think i have uh, closed it somewhere so it is the edit employee right so this is the one so i think it should not be i should not close it this one okay so i think that's the error should be gone so the e l e t delete the employee 
okay so we got that one and i can just uh, reload my application and uh, if i go and add an employee so i can add just a demo 5 here and i can call it as a demo 5 and test 5 and just give us some random date over here just click on ok and save it mm, it's uh, we are not getting that uh, notification over here material that uh, material box that we have set up right so this is the one the material banner but if i go we already have added but it is actually not showing over there right you can see here it is already added but here you can see it is not actually showing so for that i need to reload the application then only it will be able to show it because if you go to the notifier over here we have just selected over here right we are not uh, listening and uh, then what we have to do is uh, let me uh, arrange it properly and uh, then we can just also check for this particular update and i can just go and update to this should be test one save it and i think we got some error and what is the error that we have the following the null check operator because of the date i think so i also need to set it of a date and then save this one and i think it's saved already the est test right so uh if i go and reload my application and yeah i think that it's already set right test so uh, this is everything is working but the main thing is that uh, we are not seeing the notification so how we can see the notification is we need to actually go and listen to the changes that we have made right so we have these two this is a listener over here and also there is a listener over here so i will give you as assignment try to do it if you can right but if you cannot don't worry we will uh, meet in the next lecture and we will fix it till then have a great day